Hello, it's Susan. Today I am going to do a dip. It's going to start out like a reverse dip, um, but it's going to turn into a dip where I just lift the canvas off the plastic. But I'm going to start off by putting the plastic over top of over top of the paint here. I'm going to start off with a black background. I use a Artist Loft for my black low acrylic. <clears throat> Um, I have a little bit of white. I'm not sure if I'm going to use white, but I think I am. So I use the same kind, the Artist Loft. I have silver, Artist Loft again. Um, actually, it's, it's Liquitex Basics and that other silver mixed together. It's two of them. I have um, this color here. It's called... Azo Orange by, by Amsterdam and I mixed a little bit of this color in here. This is Reflex Orange but not much. It's mostly this color here. Um, what else do I have? I have White Pearl Metallic in this little bottle. This is what it is. Rustoleum Accent Metallics and it's water-based. It's for, um, where is it here? It's for um, walls, trim, furniture, and more. So I've used it before and it works great. I've also got gold. I'll mix my paints, four parts paint to one part Floetrol and then add water to get the right consistency. You need a little bit thicker consistency with these dips. So, Okay, I've already added the paint on my, um, the base coat on my canvas. I'm going to put this aside for a moment. And this is the plastic I'm using to go over the top. And I'm going to tape it, <clears throat> tape it to the stick. This is just a painting stir stick. So it's just taped to one end, and I'll put that aside for now. Okay. I'm going to start off with the white pearl metallic. Then I'm going to use silver. I'm going to pinch the cup so I can pour it out. Then gold. And then the 
this orange color. Oh, look what I did. Ay, ay, ay. I gotta fix that. How did I do that? It must have been my sleeve. All right, I'll try and fix that. I'll come back. I have to add more paint. I have to get the black. Now I'm going to try this color here. More white, or pearl white. More of this color. So I'm going to lay, try and lay the, the plastic over top and, and <clears throat> guide it along with a stick. Try and get no bubbles, no uh, air bubbles. Uh, 
looks like I'm getting some. Okay. Not too many of them, but yes, I have a couple. All right, I'm gonna carefully take this tape off. Carefully smooth it out. Air bubble here. Just using pin to pop it. Oops. Okay, lift it up, take away the paper towel, and then I'm going to just flip it over. Now I'm going to lift it up, try and lift it straight up, try to release the edges first and then the middle. Oh, it's kind of cool. Should have added more paint in the middle. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can just add a little bit more. I'll show you a close-up.
I'll let it dry and I'll put the results at the end of the video. Bye for now. I just wanted to come back and show you um, that I'm adding more black around this one here. This is the um, this is on the plastic. This is the dip one. The skin, I guess you would call it. So I'm going to add more black. I just filled in any spots that were um, missing black and let this dry. And I'm going to use this skin for something. I've been saving saving them all. Got quite a few now. And uh, I will do something with them. So I'm back with the dried results. Dried really nice. Pretty much stayed the same. Might have changed a little bit up here and around here, but pretty much just stayed the same. I painted the sides. That looks pretty good. So I'm just going to show you a close up. So anyway, thank you for watching my videos, and I will uh, see you in my next one. Bye for now.